Good afternoon, one and all. I hope you are all well. Well, a um, couple of things I wanted to do today. Number one is to open this little box. This is from Northern Briars, not new pipes, uh, but some pipes I sent off for conversion. Ooh, a good few months ago, and I've been super excited to get these. Um, these are some pipes which um, I'd bought over the time prior to moving over to 9 mil filters um, and I've not been able to smoke them because of that. Well actually I think one of them I did buy afterwards um, but I bought it because I just liked the look of it and I could see that the shank was uh, convertible so I went for it. Um, that's number one and number two is going to be a VR to Andrew Cirigliano. We'll get to that in a mo. I'm not smoking at the moment because I might well fire up one of these, we'll see. So let's get to these. It should be four pipes, I don't know, he's really packed it nice and compact. So that's a good start. One, two, three, hello. One, two, three, four, sorry my mistake. All right. Ooh, I remember this one. I couldn't remember what the fourth one was, now I remember. Just by feeling it, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Interesting. All right, so what we have here is a Polish pipe. I think it's Albin. I'm not sure if it's actually by Albin or by some other Polish carver, but it's the same. I think it was the same eBay page. Um, so he's converted this. Beautiful rustication on this. Such a nice rustic look on it. That top reminds me of the Moretti pipes, his, the way he does his sort of curved rims. Um, but he's put a silver rim on there. Not sure why. Um, he's done that once before for me because the shank was a bit weak or it had cracked, but I can't see anything here. Mm. I don't know if it has or hasn't cracked, but in, in any event, maybe he's just put it on to strengthen it. But I now have a nice silver rimmed pipe. Not arguing, not complaining. Hmm. So that's number one. Let's see if I can work this one out. Yep, I think that's the Boswell. And this one has converted just fine. That's a classic Boswell semi rusticated semi-smooth I'm delighted to be able to have a Boswell to smoke again there is a little bit of an issue here I should have told them to sort that out there's a little bit of a gap there I don't know if you can see it once the camera decides to focus there you go so you can see a little bit of a gap but hey ho it's just the way it was carved um, Boswell's did say I could send it back but you know what sometimes you just gotta live with stuff I'm looking forward to smoking that. Uh, what is this one? Oh right, this one I think is the RC Sands. And I got um, interested in RC Sands when I saw Jeremy Larson get one. <laughs> or two, in, in uh, Jeremy's case probably half a dozen. So that one's converted okay. Oh yeah, nice fit. Also a nice semi-rusticated, slightly bent billiard. Very nice smooth interior. RC Sands. Here we go. One of the main reasons why I went for this is because I, I just... I like to have... A, a good array of pipes but also 
um, for some some of the classic carvers, you know, the the real um, long time carvers. And um, RC Sands, I think, is one of those type of. Um, I don't know that much about them, if I'm honest, but um, I just like the idea of having at least one pipe of some of the carvers that um, I feel sort of uh, interested in. So there are some that I've some people that I've got several pipes of uh, from, but there are some that I'm I'm you know just happy to have one, just to say you know I've got in my herd I've got one pipe from that carver. I, I like the idea of that. I just like the way that uh, it just feels good to be able to you know a collection. You can have a collection which is going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the same item or similar items, or you can have a nicely widely spread collection where. You've got a representation of the the people in that particular field which interest you. The next one is indeed a Moretti. Very nice uh, sort of a flame grain on that. Nice white stem. And there's the Moretti. There we go. Really nice grain on this. Very nice, very lightweight. So those are the four pipes um, that I've been waiting on for a really quite a long time. Uh, Ian's a very busy man, so I'm really delighted that he was able to do these. Right, so now to the VR. Andrew, guys, I know we all say this when we do VRs and we, we big up people's channels, but Andrew is really one of the nicest people on the YTPC. I haven't exchanged gifts with him. I haven't. We haven't uh, sent packages each each other's way. Just watch his channel. He's also a very quite a uh, a busy sort of commenter on people's videos. Just the nicest guy. And if you listen to his videos, you watch his videos, and just you can see his nature coming through on his videos. Such a um, he's an effervescent guy when it comes to talking about tobacco pipes. He's just so full of life and um, comes across as just the way he speaks as well he's got a, a very nice sort of um, uh, method of talking and it's just very relaxing and very engaging and um, it's like you know, you know we say that all the time we're having a virtual meetup when we're uh, sort of messaging or even on lives um, and but there are some people who have got this particular sort of relaxed easygoing conversational style of presenting and he's one of those guys where you literally feel that he's talking to you directly um and uh some people um and they're all good every you know everybody has their own particular style um but you can see you can see some people when they present they're presenting and they're kind of um sort of preparing themselves and geeing themselves up and, and putting on a uh, an authoritative kind of voice and really um it takes you back to some of the older sort of BBC style pre presenters where they kind of lose their own natural timbre in their voice and it kind of goes up a pitch and and becomes quite um, a, a direct method of, of conversation and there are some people who are completely chilled and relaxed and they're just chatting with you and just having a good time. Andrew is one of those guys, he's the latter. Just chilled, very relaxed, very engaging um, and, and just a likeable guy. So Andrew Congratulations for your channel. Congratulations on your 350 subs. Um, I'm sure that they will continue to grow in a healthy fashion. Now, you asked a very interesting question. I believe somebody has asked a similar question recently, but you've added a few little um, touches to your question, and you've also added some phenomenal prizes. Um, I don't VR. I don't do VRs for everybody. It would be impossible if I VR'd everybody on my feed. Um, but I do try sometimes, but um, I'm going to be very open and honest with you. Um, your prizes were too much, too hard to resist. Fantastic. You're really super, super generous in your selection of prizes. So this time I'm not going to say if I win it, please send it to so-and-so. If I win it, please send them to me. So now your question was, if you wanted to design a blend, what would it be? What would you call it? 
and for a bonus entry your tin art so for the moment as you all know my uh, penchant at the moment is for virginias and vapors and the like um, so you all have heard of London fog so that's not going to be it because it's already there so I was thinking to myself what could I do that would uh, what kind of brand would I want that would be um, a suitable companion to London fog um, and what I came up with was still a Virginia based tobacco um, but whereas this one is it's Virginia uh, London Fog is Virginia. It's it, it's 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 all it golden sliced, so it's Virginia. Virgi all it golden sliced has some perique in it these days. It used to have burley, now it's got perique, um, and there is some zesty flavorings added, which I didn't always know that. I only recently found out that it's got some kind of um, orangey or zesty kind of sugary flavoring added to all it golden sliced, and that was news to me. Um, I don't remember where I read it, but assuming it's true, that is the case. So that's all it golden sliced. Um, and in it is also Virginia Woods. And Virginia Woods too, I believe, has some casing, some kind of flavoring. Um, so um, it's kind of a, this uh, um, London Fog is kind of a, it's a Virginia, but it's, it, I think it'd be a bit far-fetched to call it a straight Virginia, even though I would say it's probably 90% um, Virginia, I would imagine. Um, so for my new uh, blend, it would still be Virginia, but it would be Virginia Perique. Um, I've um, been looking into ordering some pure Perique, um, straight Perique, um, to add to some blends. And that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select, um, it's nothing new, I mean, vapor is as old as the hills, but it's something that I want to put together myself. So I'm going to se be selecting, I'm going to actually be doing this um, at some point in the near future hopefully I'm going to select one of the Virginias which I've been enjoying and one which I feel will be enhanced by adding the Perique to it um, and making my own vapour and so if, if I would have the choice and somebody was going to be out there and designing that's what I would ask them to do is a superlative vapour now as the saying goes um, there's no need to reinvent the wheel um, but as I found on London Fog there was good purpose to it I've tried several other attempts at different blends which haven't worked really um, at least they certainly haven't added to anything that's already out there whereas so far i've not found anything that tastes like london fog um so that's what i'd be looking to do is, is to really find a virginia which i really really like and adding some perique to it and see and perhaps playing around with the quantities and proportions and see how that works because i've got a feeling that that would be something that uh um, would be fantastic now in order for that to become something more interesting than the slew of um, vapors out there um, many of which I enjoy um, I think that would be a challenge which I hope I'll rise to so that's the blend that I'd like to do or get designed um, in terms of the name um, Simon's Pleasure that's um, what uh, I would name it I had a little think about it before. Um, I thought you could call, it could be called Piper's Pleasure, but I think there is already a, a tobacco out there called Piper's Pleasure or something like that. So Simon's Pleasure, um, and in, as far as tin art is concerned, um, in order to keep it um, on point, um, I think it would be a derivative of my logo on my YouTube channel, which is uh, Big Ben, um, and I'd probably remove the uh, Bosco Piper UK um, logo which is in the center of the dial and um, and uh, replace that with something which was uh, which had some reference to summertime um, because I think that although we're moving away from the summer um, but uh, a nice vapor um, which is got a nice sweet rich bright um, yet also rich Virginia um, I think is uh, gives us all nice pleasant thoughts of the summer so they would have perhaps um, a sun you know a sunburst or a, that kind of thing in the center um, of Big Ben so that would be my tin art something along those lines so Andrew that's my VR for you um, congratulations once again thank you very much for this 
awesome, awesome competition. Um, the prizes are just mind blowing. Um, so fantastic generosity. Thank you very much for that, for the opportunity. Um, and I look forward to the draw with keen excitement. Thank you very much once again, everybody. I'm going to enjoy getting one of these going and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.